Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen, my name is Juggernaut, and in today's video I'm going to show you how to use the console commands to cheat in Crusader Kings 3. So, uh, I did a video like this many years ago for Crusader Kings 2, and I guess today I'm continuing the trend, but before uh, we used to just open up the console, now there is one extra step. So in order to actually enable the console, what you need to do is you're going to need to go into your Steam libraries uh, folder and then you're going to right click on the game where you would normally launch it from the library and you're going to go to games properties and under the general tab you're going to click set launch options in the set launch options the, the in the window that pops up you are then going to add minus debug underscore mode now I'm going to put this in the description as well as the first pinned comment down below so you can actually copy it off uh, me and you don't have to type it in yourselves but basically it's minus on the numpad uh, debug underscore mode and that's it now you will have to restart the game if it's running while you're doing this but I suggest that you don't do this while the game is running um, and then that's it now you can then use the console uh, so, a test to see whether you've actually done it properly is you can now see the IDs of the provinces when you mouse over them, for example. You see ID 2536 PISA. Right, there you go. Uh, for example, I think you can also see the IDs of various characters as well, like so. Uh, you can see their stats, so on and so forth. Uh, stuff, uh, information like, like this that usually would not be available to you were you not in debug mode. So, uh, let's get down to actually, you know, using the cheats. Oh, and, uh, sorry about this, I've forgotten, I've forgotten to when, I, when originally recording the video to say how to actually open the console. Um, to open the console, you need to press the tilde key, at least that's in my case. It is the key to the left of the number one key, not on the numpad, but, um, basically it is above tab and to the left of the number one key and below the escape key on a standard US keyboard. Uh, now, if you don't have a standard US keyboard, there are other options of how you might be able to open the console, but basically you will need to look this up for yourselves, as there are thousands of variants of keyboards. Uh, among the more common solutions for this, uh, for this problem of opening the console are Shift 2, Alt 2 plus 1, Shift 3 plus um, tilde and... Honestly, a sign I cannot read, um, but I'm, I'm reading this off the wiki. Uh, there are also um, keys that are basically in the same position as the tilde key, but they look differently. So left of the number one key, below the escape key. Um, on a QWERTY keyboard, the key isn't tilde, but it is in the same position. Uh, it looks like an apostrophe, basically. Um, also, you can try pressing Shift, Alt, and C. Uh, maybe that will work on, I think on Linux it's a different uh, if it's a different key altogether, but there is a special key that you need to uh, you need to press. Oh, sorry, on Linux, God, that's, that's an operating system. On Mac, um, I think there is, there is a, a special key that you need to press to open the console. Uh, but like I said, there are thousands of varieties, and you're going to need to look the, these up for yourselves. I can only give you the most common ones, like so. And there will be a list of how to open these uh, various consoles on, or the same console, but how to open them on various keyboards and various systems uh, down in the description below explained and um, visualized as well if you can, um, um, you know, you, you can read that and maybe, maybe um, that'll help. But uh, if not, then like I said, there are too many variants for me to list all of them. Anyways, let's go down to actually using the cheats. And there is a huge variety of them. Uh, there is also a debug menu where you can kill currently played character. Um, you can left click to gain prestige, right click to lose. Uh, same for gold and piety. And there's also the portrait editor. Um, all sorts of things. This is way more advanced and there is way more options here than in any previous um, console of, of any other, of any previous Paradox title. Uh, but other than, than these buttons here, there are actually commands that you can type in. And the most useful one I put it to you is help, as always. So what this does is basically gives you the list of commands in the game. All of the commands, more or less, will be here. 
So, for example, we have... Let's find a useful one. Um, okay, version isn't very useful. Now, there are many, many of them, so... You, know, you might not want to go through each and every one of them, but... Okay, we have Instant Birth. Now, you might be wondering, what the hell is Instant Birth? I mean, it sounds pretty obvious, but some of these don't exactly. So, what you can then do is go, help, and then type in the command. So, help, um, kick, for example. And the, the console will actually tell you what the command does. So, kicks a player with a given name. This is for multiplayer, obviously. Or, um, help, F-O-W. Help FOW. Okay, for FOW it doesn't work. And if I just type in FOW, unknown command. Heh. Okay, well, I, I have, a, I have a, a knack for these things. I pick the one command that doesn't work. Heh. Alright, well, um, there are some commands, that, however, that do work, and I will provide you a list of useful commands down in the description of the video, as well as the first pinned comment. I'm actually going to provide a link to the Paradox, um, the Paradox Wiki, and there you can actually see uh, by sort of categories what sort of commands you can you can have. So, for example, um, let's pick one like age. I think. Uh, well, no, that's that's a little bit complicated because you need to type in the the uh, da -da 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 -da, the the ID. Let's go with Yes Men. That's always useful. So what Yes Men does is... Does actually this work? Yes Men. Uh, yeah, there you go. You can you can actually um, get the console to explain you what the, what the, to explain to you what this does. So AI will always say yes to everything within a day. Useful, right? So let's say you're in a war that you you're losing, but you want to peace out or you want to win the war. Toggle on Yes Men, and, uh, well, there you go. You can now ask for gold, and he will say yes. Now, it says minus 41, but you can ask for gold, and there you go. He paid. He will always say yes. Um, or you can go, for example, declare war. All of my claims, declare war. Um, that will cost me fame, but that's okay. I'm just going to declare war, and then I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to go offer peace, enforce demands. He will accept. Um, it's minus 99, but, you know, he will accept because... Uh, because we have Yesmen turned on. Now, obviously, a lot of people find this extremely boring and will not use this cheat, especially not like this. I'm simply demonstrating how these work, right? Um, obviously, I wouldn't do something like this for fun. I think this is, you know, um, just no. Uh, but there are some situations where you might want to use them. Uh, there are, for example, you want to test something out, like, especially useful for testing mods. Um, you can use console commands. Um, also, the classic ones like gold 5000 work. Um, there you go. Uh, prestige 10,000 works. Um, there you go. Stuff like that. Um, now, if you have any specific commands that you're curious about and would like to test out and would like to, um, to know what they do, or if you're looking for help, uh, achieving a particular goal and like, you know, I don't know, killing someone or winning a war or something along those lines, feel free to ask me down in the comments below. I read each and every one of them and I will uh, do my best to help you. If you're looking for specific commands, if you're not sure how they work, if you have any questions whatsoever along those lines, feel free to, um, feel free to ask and I shall do my best to help you. Um, but that's basically it as far as the, the video is concerned. Um, yeah, th there you go, there you go. If you have any questions, feel free to ask down below, and um, that's basically it. I hope you learned something useful, and I hope you find this, in general, useful. Until next time, have fun, take care, and bye-bye. Oh, and do like and subscribe down below if you enjoyed the video and want to support the channel. It helps out a ton. Until next time, however, like I said, bye-bye.